Okay, we're here in uh, my Magnum 7250 tractor. Uh, we got a direct command with a three-point sprayer mounted on it. Um, we're at a ride and drive uh, uh, event uh, that's, that, that's happening in August 2011. Um, so this is just a kind of a demonstration, a sprayer demonstration. You can see our rates at the top. We got our tank remaining and our boom sessions and. We got our on track two in here, uh, which which we're gonna kind of show. I'm gonna do end rows, and then I'm gonna do uh, then I'm gonna do an A B line across the end rows to show the boom shutting off. So uh, hang in there. We're just gonna get things cranked up here. Got the master switch on. Okay. It's beeping at its minimum flow. Basically. To make this thing work, we uh, we do a, um, a a set in a minimum flow, which is a uh, number that is used to keep boom pressure um, in slower situations. Um, if you do not put a minimum flow in, you lose pressure and boom nozzles turn off and you leave skips. Uh, so I mean, Raven systems have that. Um, I like, uh, you know, ag leaders, uh, not, you can set it up and, and it's kind of tribal error. There's a big equation you can use to figure it out, but um, I'm not smart enough to do that. I just kind of do a tribal error and get in the ballpark. And we're right on the edge of minimum flow right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn here and, and, and get my on track uh, engaged so I can do my, basically how I spray all this stuff or how I spray it all mine was I do uh, two times around uh, the field, which gives me a nice wide berth to turn. Um, there's my line came up for my for my uh, second pass along the end here. You can see the auto steers working, and you can see the squiggly line. Um, you know, this first pass is hand driven, so um, smart path is gonna is gonna give you kind of a squiggly line on the ends. But what I am gonna do is uh, I'm gonna send an AB line and go into the into the turns and uh, show kind of the boom shut off and what it looks like uh, in in action I guess is what I'm uh, gonna attempt to do here. Um, so you know, we're about to enter a pass. You see the steering uh, did a pretty good job. I, I on track has has been a pretty pretty solid system for us. A uh, little pro few problems at first, but we've uh, overcome a lot of them. So now I'm going to turn and we're going to pretend like um, we're going to see our boom shut off here. Yeah, see the auto swatch taking over right now. You can see our boom shut off there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set an A point, A, B point. Um, Right now we're shut off. Booms are all off. Um, we're in our covered area. Uh, um, I'm gonna set A here. And you can kind of see coming out of the headlands, we're gonna start turning our booms on pretty soon. See there, they all came on. We're spraying. We got our B point set. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna make a turn here. Um, should I should have uh, followed that line? That's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and make a turn, which isn't exactly what we want. But here's our line, so we're gonna see if we can. We're spraying. The boom shut turned on. We got five sections on this sprayer. Steering. Watch it click off. Yep, there they go. And they're off. So now I'm gonna turn around and make a pretty wide turn. Like I do when I'm normally spraying. 
and let this thing kind of steer, 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 steer its way around here. This next pass, there it is. Oop. Screw that up. The wrong button. <laughs> that doesn't ever happen. It's all right. Again, we're in some dead pastures. So I don't think it's gonna make much difference. So, but you can see, before we get out of our, our line, or out of our headland, I, I acquired my line. Gives you plenty of time. I found that going 120 feet around the field is, is um, nice. Uh, it's a lot better than trying to cut it, cut it short and go one time around. And um, this way we can, you know, use our auto steer to the effectiveness that, that we should. Um, and uh, here we go. Got our line. Our minimum flow again because it's. You can see our gallons are counting down. It's our. We need to go a little faster is what that's telling me. But I need I need to put smaller tips on this sprayer, I think, too, to build pressure. Building the pressure on the booms is kind of a tough it doesn't seem to do a very good sprayer itself. The guy I had it before had flat ground and he was running faster. On these contours that I have, I kind of need to um, uh, need to tip down a little bit, nozzle down. But uh, you kind of see the idea. It's booms are still off. They're in sprayed area. You know, it's going to come on here in a second. And there they come on. So it's a good. It's a good uh, system. I I really enjoy it during spraying. We spray across rows. Um, uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, Matt Helmke again. Direct command demonstration. Uh, our field day, uh, 2000. August 2011, August 4th. Um, thanks for watching, uh, and we'll talk to you later.